Good afternoon. This is another installment of the Cult of Trump Fantasies versus the Realities. How it was supposed to go down versus how it's all played out. <clears throat> but uh, before we get into that, we have a rule here. You must click on everything down below and contribute to my Patreon before we continue. Okay, let's continue. And thank you. First, and one of the fantasies, perhaps the biggest, that got him elected in the first place is the fantasy that he's a successful businessman. The reality is, he's a failure. He projects the image of success to those who are either easily fooled or just want to be fooled. But he has a long string of failed ventures, bankruptcies, and non-payment of contractors and services rendered to his properties. He lost almost a billion dollars during a decade when even me mediocre investors were making money hand over fist. He's, his most successful string of ventures seems to be his scams because every time he's caught in a phony charity, university, or campaign donation event, he's pulled in gobs of money with very little startup capital. But getting caught is just more failure and it's only going to escalate here on out. He's stunningly successful at projecting success while actually failing spectacularly. But being a successful phony is not a skill many admire, and we certainly don't want the ones who do picking our president. Okay, next fantasy. Trump would be a strong president because he speaks his mind. Reality. Trump speaking his mind is just so whacked on so many levels if you can't see any of them, it's amazing you have what it takes to register to vote. But here's one important reality. A strong man knows right from wrong, at least how society generally views it, and knows when to shut the fuck up no matter how badly he wants to blurt something out. A strong man knows how to tolerate the vagaries of life, and doesn't angrily tweet multiple times a day. A strong man accepts what he cannot change and changes the things he can, both of which Trump is notoriously bad at. I'll make this simple. I consider myself tough because of the hardships I've endured, but I know the difference between being tough and being strong. Being tough is largely just a matter of genetics. Being strong is largely a matter of choice, and it takes a lot of work. I'm trying to better myself, so I've consumed tons of material on how that's accomplished by people who have done it. We're talking all walks of life, business folk, teachers, athletes, scholars, monks, special forces members, and nearly all that these folks have to share on how to act, speak, and think if you want to improve the quality of your life is diametrically opposed to how Trump acts and speaks and we can assume thinks. For me, all they propose falls under the larger framework of getting out of your comfort zone. Adopting a growth mindset, exercising, eating better, cultivating persistence and perseverance, doing hard things, doing anything when you're not motivated, accepting things as they are no matter how disturbing, and finding the tools to change them, which requires a certain steadfastness and a rejection of anger or fear or confusion as any of insurmountable objects. Let me say that again and a rejection of anger or fear or confusion as insurmountable obstacles. In short, 
doing any of the positive things that improve one's life experience is difficult and challenging and as such they are things Trump doesn't do and discourages others from doing. Actually, he uses anger, fear, and confusion to whip his cult mob into a frenzy, thereby reducing the quality of their lives. Then blames that on other to give them a viable target to vent their angst. He doesn't want to MAGA. He wants to pussify your thought processes so you're as mentally weak as he is. He's weak in America and a segment of American society, but be thankful that whatever else his thought, his He's weakened America and a segment of American society, but be thankful that whatever else is false, he's also a weak man. The next one will not be so weak or stupid. Your single best recourse to surviving the next onslaught is to strengthen yourself. Because with that, you may have a voice that others will ally themselves to because we'll need that when this happens again. Just a warning for what's coming up next. I just before I planned on making this video came across some video of the woman who was shot. It appears to be her last moments. I just wanted you to warn, I just wanted to warn you, uh, if you don't want to see that, stop here. I think it's important. I think it's important for the Trump fanatics to see this and to understand nothing of significance was achieved during that riot at the Capitol. The fantasy was you were going to take it over and change the government. The reality is you got this poor woman shot for nothing good. She didn't even get inside the building. She had no plans on going there to lose her life to get Trump reelected. But that's how it turned out. And of course, Trump didn't get reelected. I strongly suggest you watch this if you believe in Trump. See where this is leading. This is not how we're supposed to change our government. This is just Trump making cannon fodder out of his followers. Nothing good is going to come of this, but you die or end up in prison. I thank you for watching. Click on everything down below. And if you didn't watch, well, what's wrong with you, man? One last time, the warning, it's coming up directly after this. Talk to you tomorrow. <laughs>